Hey everybody, it's Ryan from Ryan's Basement. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to share with you my thoughts, just my thoughts, my ideas regarding the strike at the Lucky Friday mine in Idaho. Uh, it's a silver mine where the silver miners have been on strike for over two years. Mostly from what I can understand, uh, it has to do with them uh, wanting to uh, be able to determine where they work in the mine and who they work with in the mine, and, and doing, being able to do that based upon seniority. So first off, let me say that I am a stockholder, a shareholder in Hecla Mining, so I have an interest in this situation. I've been doing a lot of reading, both kind of pro-union and pro-company, and, um, and I have some ideas that I think I'd like to share. First off, I'll say this. Um, I'm a shareholder. Phil Baker, the CEO, is being paid too much money. Uh, I believe he's a $6 million man, uh, $6 million a year, over $6 million a year. And based on the kind of performance of the company since he's been in charge, I see like no reason why he's being paid $6 million a year, maybe a million at the most. Um, however, um, you know, that's the situation. But I think that that's something that the company needs to take a look at. And how that relates to the strike is, in my opinion, is this. Uh, one thing I've heard brought up by the union guys is that if Phil Baker took a 15%, only a 15% uh, pay cut, that could cover 100% of the health premiums, health insurance premiums for the miners at the mine. Wow, what a great opportunity, Phil. Uh, what a great goodwill gesture you could make. Cut your salary by 15%, okay? And it's not like you haven't made millions and millions and millions in the previous years on top of that. I think you have enough money, okay? Take a little cut, do something good, show those miners that you care, okay? That would be so well received. That would be such a great goodwill gesture. Uh, I think that would set this strike situation kind of moving in the right direction to where things could get resolved and resolved with a... Uh, a really, you know, in a real positive light uh, for both you, the company, and the miners going forward. Now, I'll also say this, and I'm saying this to the miners, I think, and you're not going to want to hear this, but I think that you guys need to make, just my opinion, some major concessions in terms of this hardcore stance that, based upon seniority, you should be able to choose where you work in the mine, um, and who you work with in the mine, and maybe even to a certain extent when you work in the mine. I know that's something that you've kind of enjoyed over the years, but I think based upon my reading, that's something that's very unique to the Lucky Friday mine. And honestly, it's a little outdated. So I think, I'm not saying give up all of that, but maybe go to the company with a, an idea where maybe you give up, you know, 60% to the point that, to the extent that it can be quantified, give up some of that ability and see if the company will let you retain some of that ability uh, and kind of meet somewhere in the middle-ish range. But I really would give most of the power to the company. I think that in this day and age uh, with how companies need to manage workforces, uh, uh, that, that you know the company has to be able to generally decide kind of where and when people work in a safe manner, of course. Now, that being said, um, you can see I'm not dressed up today, but I've been a businessman. I've owned a small business. I've worked in the corporate world. I have nice white shirts and fancy ties and suits, all that good stuff. I know what it's like to be on the, I guess, management side of the equation and what they're dealing with. But I'm going to share with this with the miners as well. I've also uh, worked as a union worker. Um, I was in the steel workers union for four summers when I was in college. I got to know the union guys. I was in the union. I paid union dues. It was an old factory. And, um, and there was a lot of, you know, the union had a lot of power in that factory. Eventually, that factory got closed down. And uh, from what I understand, uh, a, a major contributing factor was the fact that the union, um, it, it, the company has got to a point where, like, we're not going to deal with this anymore. So they shut it down. Um, I don't want to see that happen at Lucky Friday. I'm not there. I'm not involved. My heart goes out to the miners and their families. I know they've been struggling for the last two years, but I don't want to see you guys screw yourselves 
out of some really good paying jobs. Um, and I know they're hard jobs and I know they're dangerous jobs, but I wouldn't let uh, uh, an idea that has really become to a large extent outdated, uh, you know, uh, uh, result in the fact that, that, that you wind up not being able to go back to work. So that's just my thoughts, maybe some things to consider for both the company and for the miners so that everybody can get back on the same track and Lucky Friday can be a profitable uh, mine and a great place to work. Thanks for watching. I hope uh, I hope I uh, uh, provided some benefit to you by making this video, and I hope you have a great day.